Hi guys, um, just a short video about uh, the speed of gravitons. Um, in the original model of Star Drive, um, I said the photon made of two, two uh, gravitons and it cartwheels through space like this. Well, it does, no doubt about that. But the thing is, I was I thought it was cartwheeling like this. Which means if the center is the speed of light, this one should be two times the speed of light, and this one is zero. Um, like in this picture, if this circumference uh, equals the wavelength of the photon, it indeed would be two times the speed of light. A graviton propelling the photon would go or need to go at two times the speed of light in order to move the photon at one time the speed of light. But in reality, this photon makes way larger steps. A typical photon has, uh, this is about half, uh, half a nanometer. So it's very small. And a wavelength is about, say, 500 nanometers. So it's a factor of a thousand. So when you look at this one, you can see when I'm getting closer to the middle, which means making larger steps, uh, the graphs propelling the photon don't need to go that fast. In fact, um, a photon being one thousandth of its wavelength, um, the graphs propelling it are uh, traveling at, say, 1.001 times speed of light. So not two times speed of light or three times speed of light. Oh, 1001. Come again, please. 1.001 times the speed of light, which is practically the speed of light. So, but I'm going to use this 2C uh, throughout uh, my model just to make a difference between the speed of light and the speed of the graviton. So, but it explains that gravitons go uh, and electrons, gravitons and positrons all travel at the speed of light. So don't take this 2C literally. That's all. Thanks.